Hey guys, it's time for another collaboration song. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm making this video to get the ball rolling. I'm really glad to hear that, uh, Matt, you've recently gotten on Skype. I'll be seeing you on Skype soon, I hope. You, me, and Jason at least all on Skype now so we can communicate that way. For the song, this coming song I have an idea for it, as at least how, how we're going to do it, is we can... I know uh, you, Matt, wanted to do things like in a day, kind of as fast as you could to, to help with your schedules and, and whatnot, but I have another idea that would be last that would be less taxing perhaps on our time and would allow us to complete a song and hopefully within four weeks time and this is something we can just try out you know one time just like what we the way we did things last time it was it, you know it doesn't have to, we don't have to repeat the way we do things every time so this time I was thinking that one of us is going to record a somewhat simple um, but hopefully interesting bass line that will have in it uh, at least one chorus, at least two verses, and at least one bridge. So you would ha have at least four sections in it, and each of us could at least take one of those sections and write a vocal melody for it and sing on it. So all, all four of us will have a chance to sing like we did um, on our recent thing, which is great because we're all singer-songwriters and we all deserve the chance to, to have a sing in our collab project, I think. And then, once the person writes the bass line, they can put it up, upload it, and someone might want to say, hey, I want to, you know, do something on top of this, and they can claim it, and then they can record something on top of it through, you know, over the whole song, either like guitar, piano, uh, some percussion or, or something, anything, but if they're going to record vocal melodies, then they can only take one section of the song. So that, you know, like I explained before, the reason why we should do that. And what we should do is pass the song, you know, pass the song around in a circle, and then we should end up having, uh, an, I think, an interesting kind of song uh, for song number two in our project. Now I also want to talk about uh, them thematically the, the first song we, we did ended up being called The Truth by by no no means single design I think no one's no one really purposefully tried to really put into the song a certain meaning but I think it kind of has one I think it, it we're kind of hinting on something that is bigger than all of us uh, I'm not talking about religion or God, but, you know, Michael Jackson at his peak wrote uh, a song called Heal the World, Make It a Better Place. Uh, John Lennon envisioned a world without war, full of peace. And, you know, Bono and Chris Martin both are very active in, in trying to make the world better. And I think as artists, no matter how small, we should also have that simple goal of, of speaking the truth, of trying to change things for the better. And, you know, I'm not for a song that tells people do this, do that, but, you know, we can do it subtly. Like, I was thinking maybe employ, you know, the reasoning behind why we, you know, ask questions about our own lives and, and, and questions about society and, and the way the world is today to realize so many things are are being kept from us maybe you know we don't really understand everything and it's always good to, to always be asking questions about about everything and, and to never feel 100% certain about anything because nothing is certain so you know maybe we can write songs, not protest songs, because usually protest songs, I think, tend to be polarizing, and polarizing effects aren't, aren't usually particularly effective when it comes to, say, we want to try to change the world, make it a better place. 
we should try to write from a place of humility and uh, try to share share the love like what you wrote like your song all we need is love Matt and and it's really true and I think deep down you know the three of us and uh, hopefully uh, Michael as well feel feel the same way and uh, we can have sort of a, a mission or what, what we call a theme for our work that we're doing so far that way hopefully when we get a group of songs it will be more like like a like a whole like even though stylistically we, it might vary a lot because of all the different people we're, we're going to work with throughout everything thematically it will come together and will be like a like an album say I always like to work within the context of album of an album perhaps like a single concept you know it doesn't have to be that way but I just felt deep down you know conviction yet uh, last night that that would be something that we could work on together some kind of theme anyways as as everything I say and do feel free to give me your opinion your comments and uh, we're gonna have to use a click track on this one because I just feel like uh, a click track would be a good idea this time to try to keep everything a lot uh, tighter and we can all be on the same watch so, so to speak and uh, thing is who's going to you know write the first bass line right that's the question i don't want to say me because me uh i kind of took the lead on the last project as you guys know you know i brought us together and whatnot but this time i kind of want to you know let somebody else take the lead so i think uh I think Jason was going to give it a shot, but Jason has little experience with click track, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but maybe, uh, maybe it'd be good for Michael to start us up with a, with a decent bass line. That could, be, that could be a good idea too, and unfortunately Matt, you don't have a bass, do you? So it's going to be either Michael or Jason this time. But the idea for the after this is maybe have uh, maybe have like gr group uh, project leaders, so we would all take turns being a leader and designating the the whole direction of of the song and where how we're gonna do it. But this time, let's try it this way, if you're willing. If not, okay, that's fine too. Just let me know, okay? Also, like the idea of project leader and you know that project leader specifically design designating certain people for certain jobs can work too we can take turns being a project leader and everything anyway the channel is doing great so so basically somebody either michael or jason step up and record a baseline and just say you're gonna do it and do it and then we can we can go from there because if you don't do it i'm gonna do it <laughs> kidding but I will you know but seriously because uh, Jason Jason's got a vacation coming up and it'd be great possibly if we could all say what days would be best for us to to work on the song make a list of days that you think you can work on the song realistically so that we can we can kind of schedule it to create deadlines for ourselves it's good to work within deadlines all right that's all